Happy Monday, everyone. We bring a very different topic today. What is plasmalogens and how it affects with women going through perimenopause, menopause, and beyond? To educate us about this amazing topic, we have Blair. She is a holistic RN involved in research on anti-aging. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, thank you. Well, I'm going to let you take the lead because I have no knowledge of what this means, plus all the <laughs> Well, and that's why I always add, I always encourage folks to ask me about plasmologens because no one knows about them, but they are something that all our cells contain. And they are something that as we age and as insults accrue, um, and especially as we're going through transitions like menopause, we can become deficient in plasmologens. And plasmologens are essential components to our cell membranes. And we cannot get them through the diet, but we were divinely designed to produce them within our cells. And we produce a lot of them because we consume a lot of them. And as we age, and like I said, when there are insults, stress, illnesses, injuries, then we become hard pressed to keep up with that demand. And plasmologens are a fuse that blows protecting other critical components in our cell membranes like antioxidants, essential fatty acids. And when they are insufficient, research shows association with increased risk of dementia and other neurodegenerative processes, as well as inflammatory and metabolic disorders, some cancers, and even all causes of, of mortality. And I became involved in this because I, I possess two copies of the infamous APOE4 allele, the Alzheimer's gene, which puts me at incredible risk for Alzheimer's. And for me to have sufficient levels of plasmologens and anyone that has an APOE4 allele or high risk for Alzheimer's, if your plasmologens are optimized, Dr. Gudenauer's research shows that that is that levels out the playing field of the risk associated with that allele. And so that is very hopeful for those folks or anyone who is at risk for neurodegenerative disease. And, the, and as we go through menopause, that risk accelerates. And so also it's gonna be impactful, like I said before, with getting traction with any condition. And Dr. Gudenauer, although we cannot get them through the diet, Dr. Gudenauer developed plasmologen precursors that studies show increase blood levels and reach target tissues. He also developed a scan that assesses the sufficiencies at the level of our cell membranes of plasmologens, as well as the quality and um, a way to assess the associated biosystem functioning. Also know that lifestyle can impact our ability to continue to produce plasmologens. And so things like sustainable resistance training. And as we go through menopause, it, we really do have to emphasize sustainable resistance training. You have to you have to prioritize the recovery as much as you do the workout. Otherwise, your muscles will never um, rebuild and get stronger. So those are very conducive to optimizing your peroxisomes. And that's where plasmologens are born. And then also anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle are critical as well for optimizing plasmologens. Okay, so you, you talked about the, the scanning part, I mean, testing, right? A um, mm -hmm. normal person doesn't even understand, right? uh, you know, this is such a foreign language. We understand gene okay. testing now, thanks to a lot of testing um, companies out there. So is this like a gene testing that you would order through some of the gene testing companies? 
how do you test, right? That's what I'm trying to understand. Well, and Dr. Gudenauer developed not only these uh, plasmology precursors that are uh, very unique, and he has extensive research that just, like I said, validates that they increase blood levels and reach target tissues. He also developed this very unique scan. And my role is to, I help physicians with interpreting the scan because it's not it's not your typical blood test where there's oh you're positive or negative or it's not you know diagnostic but what it is is it assesses our health resiliency and it does that by making it looks at you know what are your plasmologen? It gives you an idea of what your plasmologen levels are. Are they of good quality? Are they, and they do have a way to track, like if you're APOE4, there's a specific biomarker that will show, you know, this, if it, this is sufficient, this is what is, um, you know, protective. And then they also assess things like your mitochondria function, your peroxisome function, your methylation status, cholesterol transport. So it's a very, it's a very unique scan. And it's um, especially when we are, as we're aging and going through the uh, menopausal transition, it can be quite the ally and just very informing on what you need to optimize so that you can just get traction with everything else, you know, that you're trying to do. And, and that, you know, that's, that's what I think is the missing puzzle piece for a lot of folks going through the perimenopausal transition is they they're not paying attention to and they you know who's known to pay attention to plasmologens but they're not paying attention to things that have that are foundational for you to get traction with you know uh, staying vibrant and you know optimizing your health as we get older. So sounds like to me, this is an education that physicians need to have. And of course the awareness has to happen at the consumer level like myself, but, but, uh, but the physicians, you know, when you go meet your OBGYN or whoever, they're the ones who are really vehicles of actually, uh, you know, transmitting this information to women who are going through perimenopause that this is something that they need to get done, but I don't see that happening at all because the, I don't see, I, I mean, this is the first time I'm hearing myself and, 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 but I, if you talk to a common woman out there who's going to pay, well, she has no clue is what I'm trying to say. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I know. Yeah. No, I mean, and it is, it is just now, um, having the spotlight, uh, shine on it because of Dr. Goodenauer's, um, you know, offerings and research is going public. And I mean, it is across the board impactful. I mean, it is a, it's impactful for folks with autism, with um, ADHD, with anxiety, MS, Parkinson's disease. But again, because it is it's so foundational and it's, it's within all our cells. And it's, I mean, how astonishing that in this, you know, modern world that, you know, we, this is the first time that we really are looking at it and addressing it. And, you know, I, it, it can mean, like I said, it could be that missing puzzle piece for health optimization for so many people. And you're right about the practitioners. And in fact, it, uh, Dr. Gudenauer, you can find out all of his research um, and his extensive educational opportunities at drgudenauer.com. He's got the uh, Dr. Gudenauer Research Institute, and he has a really robust community of practitioners who go through a whole education process and become certified, and they do offer this scan. And I don't know if I can add links to this, but I can also add a Calendly link where you can schedule with me for a complimentary consult. And um, yeah, we can discuss, you know, personal or if you're a practitioner, you know, how to pursue getting that uh, as part of your practice. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you can add the links after the session is over in the comment section. This is a oh, quick 10-minute okay. session and that, that we bring, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, we, uh, so this topic was today really having an understanding of plasma, uh, plasma logans. Uh, I don't even know how to spell it, say it right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but, <laughs> but, but I get it. So also really understanding of that. And, and thank you so much for supporting us. And thank you everyone to keep supporting us. We are coming up with programs uh, on holistic therapies, how to get through perimenopause, menopause and beyond. So stay tuned. Thank you very much. And thank you, Blair, for being thank with you. me. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.